hey guys happy new year okay so as i'm getting ready but i wanted to talk about um writing like how do you start a writing career you know so that's what we're going to be talking about while i'm getting ready quickly how have you been how has your year started off i know that the year have started and i haven't quite been here apart from my happy new year shots that you know kind of went viral i love the effect um, that that video brought and about that of you join me from that shots thank you so much for joining so this is chi money gang as always but i'm coming back i'm coming back right now okay so guys quickly we're gonna have like a conversation guys right so you know what i want to talk about this this was the very first question that an og of this channel asked me she's somebody that's very supportive like she's part of almost on my channel yeah even my family channel so faith this is dedicated to you she's asking me how can she start a writing career in that sense writing i uh, you know that for me i said that writing is the basis of creativity writing is the basis of creativity and that's why if you want to do a film you're going to first script it um, if you want to sell out in your business you have to document what your business is about why should people should buy from you and all of that you have to have policies and um, you know all written down so that people can read and run with it just like the bible said write your vision down anything you don't write down the likelihood of it succeeding you or being um uniformly understood and operated on or operationalized is is zero because people are going to interpret it in different ways if you just say verbally so writing is a big deal okay so can we start now so welcome back to the channel Look at that. I did a kind of touch up off camera, right? Just on my lip. But so, how do you start writing? Especially when you are just starting out, you, you know, how do you begin to write? The first thing I would say, especially as an African, if you come from here or make the Caribbean, you know, or people who have the same culture, kind of like Africans, I would say, make sure. And of course, it's for everybody, really. I don't know why I'm so pro African. <laughs> Forgive me, but that is what it is, guys. So I would say, start with writing how you talk. That is, express yourself how you would normally talk, right? And don't remove anything that is natural and cultural and traditional to you so your normal day-to-day -day life your normal culture your normal tradition your normal food your normal you know mannerisms of your people inculcate it into your writing let it be part of your brand voice your writing voice in that sense uh, so that's what i would say if you're somebody who want to start out start out writing about the things that are also very normal to you your daily life your experiences your you know imagination the things that come to you don't try to think of okay something very esoteric you want to write like once uh, like a writer you have read uh, you have read from no no need just be proud of your voice and where you're from and write from your culture from your being from your family values it makes sense okay so we're going to like i said we're going to have like a conversation so if also you're asking like so the what of the actual writing where do i start from to begin to actually write i know you've said that i should you know incorporate my voice and all of that if you're in that boat where you're saying how do i do the actual writing i'll say start with reading read a lot read everything read every genre like fiction non-fiction invest in books see invest in books i can't even tell you how much books i have read especially between my childhood and my early 30s because I, I you know for some reason i find it difficult to finish a whole book now you know bad habit in old age or whatever i don't know what it is <laughs> but reading is a foundation that you must build you must read everything from history to chemistry to cars to maintenance to food to old english novels we read old english novels back in school that's in the university i mean i'm an advantage because i also studied english and literature right those are my two best subjects as far as you know life exists and i make sure that i also studied them in school so i'm like a pro pro english and literature person in that sense so but away from that it doesn't take away from you no matter what it is that you read or planning to read right so read don't restrict yourself and say oh okay this is a medical book this is a... no 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 i don't do that i read everything you must be hungry hungry 
to know. And I say this a lot, especially to my children. I say, you must be hungry to know. You must be curious to know what's happening in that sector, in that sector, in that sector. You must understand a little bit about everything. Do you understand? Reading will like, in fact, there are some books you read, you literally want to write. You know, so you can start with reading and then writing about the books you have read. You know what I mean? It will help you also understand people's style, techniques, you know, if they use flashbacks, suspense, all of some of those things, how they describe their characters. You've read some of those books that when you're reading them about a particular character, you can literally almost believe that you know him or her. Right, they describe her hair, her mannerism, her favorite drink, what she always does when she wakes up, you know, all those kind of things. Is so is an art that you can learn and you can only learn them when you have even understood that they exist you know so you must give your mind options of way of techniques so that when you're writing you automatically know where to impute what or use certain skills when you you read it is easy for you to understand the kind of themes or plots or storylines that you yourself would like to write about now also if part of your question is also like you know how do I streamline my thoughts how do i you know structure my writing in a way that people it will make interesting reading fine what i would say is just put down your thoughts on paper your key points you know make like an outline of your ideas of the things you want to talk about just write them like bullet points put them down before the actual writing that is not writing that is pre-writing um, activity write the thoughts of what and what so Say for instance, you want to tell a story about someone from when she was in her 30s to 40s. So you start with what happened first in her 30s. So how she had an accident and survived. So you write her accident scene. Number two, how she won the lottery. You know, that kind of thing. Just give yourself those outlines. Write them down so that you, at looking at that outline, you can tell where you want to begin the story and where you want to end. You know what I mean? If it's a non-fiction, you know, like I would encourage you to do, write for the journey if so if it's a book on maybe book editing like i'm writing where do you want to start um, business techniques or business ideas or processes and where do you want to stop so you start from there so understanding book editing um the, how the industry see editors um pricing in the industry you know that kind of thing just write them like that up to how to cost your your craft or your services so you know that you're starting from how you know what is book editing till how to craft how to price yourself you know what i mean so that when you now start the actual writing all you have to do is to pick each of the points and then keep expanding on them when you're done you take go to the next point does that make sense it does right okay so another question that i always get i'm sure that is also in your mind because you asked me that first question is i've heard about writer's block what happens when i have writer's block a writer's block is usually when you're writing but at the point looks like you're blank like ideas are not coming it's common right when you have writer's block take a break just chill you know just chill go away do other things that are non-writing activities and in fact those non-writing activities will even give you more inspiration it's, it might give you more inspiration to infuse in the writing when you're back take a break don't try to force yourself and again you cannot be a perfectionist in writing if you want to be a good writer. So when you're writing, allow your, your writing draft to be scattered, to have errors. Don't go back and edit. Don't go back to edit when you're writing. Just write as it comes. Just put it down. When you're done, put it away and continue the next day. But don't try to say, oh, let me go back and make sure that the, the grammar is okay. There's a time for that. Okay? Because that's another thing that keeps people stuck. The volume of your work won't come out and at a point you lose steam. To continue writing mm? so black writer's block is normal but when it happens take a break and do other things that will inspire you to go back to writing and do it you know pretty well okay okay another thing you might that might be on your mind is how do i improve my writing when i start writing how do i make myself better you know more like the best writer that it has been because that's everybody's dream i would say by writing you have to first write writing is one art that you have to learn by actually doing it you can't relax and be thinking about it and then you're writing your thoughts will not translate to writing if if you switch on google lens in your brain it will not transfer <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So write, 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 write. Don't judge yourself while you're writing. Just write. Also, write and then give friends, people who are literally inclined like you, to read and give you feedback. That can also help, right? So they give you feedback about what they think, you know, make 
impute, you know, criticize the work in a very healthy way. And don't pick offense. Don't take it personal when they say, oh, no, this is should be there. This shouldn't be here. Take it as good feedback and go back and improve, okay? So you keep improving on your work as you go. And remember, you will also have a time to edit it. So your editor will also make it. See, writing is a whole process. So what you have to do, like the refiner, is to put the content out there, right, by actually doing it. And also, join writing groups, you know, um, have a group of friends who come together to read, to criticize your works. That can also help. You can also join online writing hubs or groups, you know, that can criticize the work and all that. If you're in Abuja in Nigeria, there's a Abuja Literary Society. They are so good. They are so, so... I've not seen any writing body that is as strong as Abuja Literary Society. You know, I may be wrong, but they are so good. And they meet every week in top-scale places and they've been consistent for years. Those kind of platforms can also help, I mean, for people who are in Abuja, right? Okay, so that's one way to get better. And you would always say that your writing will get improved as you go by the time you apply some of these things. Okay, so I'm looking forward to read something you have written. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> okay. Another question that I always get from beginner writers is, what about the technical aspect of writing? How do I make sure that, you know, my grammar and style is on point and all of that? So you have to invest a lot of time in learning about techniques like grammar, like style. You have to learn. You have to and it's also from reading at the end of the day. And of course, look at online classes, English classes. Learn, 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 learn. See, they say you start dying when you stop learning. So learning is a continuous process. You know, it's lifelong. I pity people who don't, who at any point in their life stop learning. They are, they are not actually living, you know, no matter what it is. So you have to invest time to understand why, you know, the plurals are the way they are, the adjectives, the that, the that. There are lots of things to learn in grammar, and trust me, you can do it. Another thing you can do is also look at how to use easy tools, writing tools like Grammarly, AI. There are lots of platforms you can actually write and put your writing on there, and they do the whole um, in you know, technical fixtures for you and make your work very neat okay so look out for them research go out there and learn 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 learn, learn about tools learn about the grammar rules and all of that you will get it a writer is a reader and a researcher <laughs> another thing that always bug new writers is how do i stay motivated to even complete this book i will say don't be hard on yourself celebrate every time you you hit your goal like if you're saying i'm going to write ten thousand words this week and you're able to write your ten thousand words take yourself out buy yourself something celebrate it make noise about it see don't care who doesn't get it celebrate yourself it tells your brain let's do more you get celebrate yourself don't be one of those people who just think um you know it's not out yet why am i celebrating you know why you're doing it so do it that's one way to motivate yourself another way is um set realistic goals for your writing don't go and say i'll write ten thousand words in a day when you know it's not possible do you understand because you will fail and then you start blaming yourself that you're not good enough set realistic goals start conservatively and say something like i'm going to write a thousand words in a day so that you can benchmark and increase it as you go because you will keep you know hitting your goals celebrating your wins and then you can increase be realistic with yourself don't be hard on yourself again be patient see no success comes overnight any success that comes overnight is fraud it's going to break your heart see if it is to grow an audience on online it takes a lot of time if it's to grow a youtube channel it takes years if it is to become a badass writer it takes years but people begin seeing your work and believing you enough to pay you nothing comes easy so but you've chosen writing you've chosen writing so nothing is easy choose your easy if your easy is writing then dig in and dig in and make yourself better and then you see yourself skyrocket so be patient with yourself be kind to yourself the way you you know you show kindness to other people be kind to yourself as well and before you know what's happening time is like time has wings it flies before you know what's happening you're two years in into the professional writing thing three years in ten years in and you are done <laughs> if you're consistent you're going to see all of this materialize you know in your face and also ask yourself how many books do i want to publish for instance if you want to go the publishing route um how many books do i want to publish in a in a in a month in a year and all of that what is my five years plan ten years plan be realistic okay and celebrate yourself okay so another thing i will play in your mind is okay if i start this writing how am i going to get myself out there oh girl we are in the computer age so it's even easier than never 
before so you can decide to write blogs you can decide to set up a blog and share your writings there you can decide to set up a social media platform any of the platforms to just share your writing and gain you know traction gain audience gain people who love your writing you can also decide to self-publish right publish your own books by yourself you know pay for all of the process editing publishing printing sales and you know become a published author all by yourself there are lots of there are lots of platforms if you want to do the ebook route there are lots of platforms you can publish you can you know publish on amazon and the options are a lot already okay so let me see what you are coming up with what do you want to write about tell me in the comment section what have you been meaning to write about are you going to do the outline today, tomorrow, when? Do you need further help? Let me know in the comment section and I will also let you know how to go about it, okay? Make sure you like in particular. It will let me know whether you want me to do a subsequent video on this topic or if you liked it. So let me know I like it, like right now, like right now. So that you can also reach another writer who is about to start a career. This is 2024. Help a sister, help a brother. Let's go. Happy New Year and see you in my next video.